Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about adiponectin and it is maybe something that you have not heard of before but we will by the end of this video <laughs> explain why it is important to you on a healthy low carb keto diet and uh, so why don't we get right into it um, explain what adiponectin is and why people would care about it. Yeah, that, that, adiponectin is kind of a mouthful, isn't it? It is. Um, so as the as the, the term implies, it comes from your adipocytes, which are your fat mm -hmm. cells, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's actually, your fat cells actually secrete a number of different hormones. Adiponectin is one of them. We've talked a little bit about leptin in the past mm -hmm. too, but they do act a little bit differently. So yeah. adiponectin is secreted from your fat cells and it helps regulate glucose metabolism, which is very important, and also it helps uh, regulate fat oxidation. And, you know, those are two things that we are, you know, obviously very interested in right. in the ketogenic diet. Yeah, low-carb diets, we're all about uh, glucose regulation, right, which is keeping your blood sugar low, yeah. uh, and fat metabolism, which is getting that body fat to That's burn. Right. So adiponectin plays an important role in that. Um, and you, I know you have some studies. You want to sh share those? I do, yep. Um, th there are a lot of studies out there. You, you can find uh, a bunch of them. They've been studying adiponectin for a while. This one is adiponectin and adiponectin receptors in insulin resistance, diabetes, and the metabolic syndrome, uh, Japanese research. This one, uh, another one, this, is, this one they did on the uh, Chinese population. Um, this one I like because I, I've got the graph. This shows... As your leptin increases, the relative risk of type 2 diabetes just drops dramatically. Mm -hmm. So adiponectin is a very protective hormone. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it, a protective hormone. It does protect you against type 2 diabetes. Uh, it protects you against uh, a lot of cardiovascular disorders, um, very good for the um, the. Uh, the blood vessels um, actually it helps to relax the blood vessels. Right. Uh, it suppresses factors in metabolic that are responsible for metabolic syndrome, mm -hmm. um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it just does a lot of good things. Yeah. And uh, and we should talk about you know it, it's kind of a weird thing that um, with calorie restriction, and losing weight, and losing fat it actually increases the adiponectin levels in right. people. Right, so let's go into the ways that adiponectin can be elevated in your body. And it, this is one of those hormones that's so valuable, and yet um, our lifestyle changes make all the difference in the world. So this is actually a very rewarding hormone. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna steal your thunder on the first ones there you said. So, the, so uh, actually, even though adiponectin is made by your fat cells, uh, when you lose fat, your adiponectin goes up. Right. So I don't know why then. Um, also, when you calorie restrict or you reduce your calories in order to lose weight, your adiponectin goes up. So right off the bat, we're doing pretty good. Right. Yeah. And it, and it's got such great benefits. Uh, and there's no, at you know, like versus leptin, which when your leptin goes up, a lot of times you get leptin resistance because the receptors downregulate, mm -hmm. and there doesn't seem to be that that kind of mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different. Um, and there are some supplements and some different things you can hit, get in your diet that will help increase your adiponectin. Yeah. And that's the great news. Yeah. Well, and, and, some, of, and some of them are very easy ones that a lot of you probably already use already. Uh, a good omega-3 fish oil, fatty mm. acid, yeah. uh, will help. Uh, fiber supplement. Uh, we talk about fiber a lot on our channel here. It is something that gets lost on low carb and keto diets. It is important for your weight loss. Not just meat and cheese, guys. Not just meat and cheese. Zero, one, two, three strategy. If you don't have that, that is how we keep fiber in our diets and it's, it's in our free starter kit. Um, uh, polyphenols, which we think of, usually we think of those with tea. Um, resveratol, resveratol, which which we think of with our white wine, or uh, not white wine, actually red wine. Grapes and red wine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, also a supplement called berberine um, that works pretty well. Uh, and uh, curcumin and capsaicin work pretty well. Now curcumin and omega-3s are two things that, that if you've seen these or uh, you know some of the, the studies on those, they are very anti-inflammatory as well, mm -hmm. which uh, that could have something to do with how they stimulate adiponectin because adiponectin itself is very uh, anti-inflammatory, which is where it derives its, its anti-atherosclerotic properties from. Yeah. 
Yeah, so kind of the, the big takeaway is uh, you are doing your body some good by losing weight. Yes, yeah. and you want that abdominectin. You do. You tried saying it a few times, but... Yeah, so, um, hey, you're on the right path. Uh, stick with a healthy, low-carb, healthy keto diet. Keep your fiber in there. Keep your good, healthy fats in there. Um, and uh, you're, you're doing great. So we just wanted to kind of to uh, share that, shoot some things. Uh, you've increased your adiponectin, I'm sure. We could test yeah. that, but we didn't. But um, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, because, you know, with your 80-pound weight loss. So, hey, that's all we have for you today, just with kind of giving you a little bit extra information. Hope it was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and we will be back very soon with another video. Thanks. See ya.